What's up, peers, and welcome to Bitcoin to the Max here on the World Crypto Network. And today we continue our discussion about the Lightning Network and why this is so cool. Well, now that you know what the Lightning Network does in really large scale, uh, well, you want to get started with it, right? Well, first of all, you need to get a Lightning Network node. And what is that? Well, first of all, this is a Bitcoin full node, right? So a Bitcoin full node downloads every single block and verifies it according to its own consensus rules. And in order to run Lightning Network, you need to have a Bitcoin full node as well. But then on top of the Bitcoin full node, you can run an additional software program that is your Lightning Network node that, as we said yesterday, builds on top of the, of the blockchain itself. Right? So it needs to have the blockchain of the Bitcoin full node and then can, on top of that, add some additional uh, little uh, spicy secret sauce to make the lightning magic happen. Uh, but now what exactly is this? Well, first and foremost, you need to speak the same protocol language as all others. Right? Same, same with, of course, Bitcoin. If you have uh, Bitcoin and then you have Ethereum, these are completely different rules. And so, of course, if you have Lightning Network and, for example, sidechains, both second layer solutions, but completely different. So you need to be on the same page on the protocol, a network effect, right? And this means that you need to have a standard. And this, these standards are called the BOLTs, the Basics of Lightning Technologies. And a software is compatible with the Lightning Network when it is compatible with all of these BOLTs. Much more on those in the future. And there are currently three main implementations of these bold standards, the protocol that speaks the Lightning Network language. And these are the C Lightning version, which is developed partially by Blockstream and written in C. Then there is the LND. Uh, this is the Lightning Daemon developed by Lightning Labs. I think written in Go, but I'm not sure. And then we have Eclair, uh, which is developed by a French uh, company, Async. And these three implementations, but there could be many more, are all compliant with the protocol language that is required for the Lightning Network. And when we go here to, a, uh, to this little website, 1ML, which, which has some fantastic Lightning Network search and analogy, analysis, we currently see that there are 5,863 nodes, uh, so softwares that run either one of these three softwares. Well, wh why do we know this number exactly? Well, because this is actually uh, being publicly known. So any Lightning Network node is publicly known in this network, uh, uh, other than, for example, a Bitcoin full node, because you can run a Bitcoin full node with just listening, just leeching off the data and not telling anyone else that you are actually here. And this is why we do not know how many Bitcoin full nodes there actually are because there can be so many lead chains. Well, with the Lightning Network, you actually have to be communicating. And therefore, we know exactly the number of nodes that are out there. Well, and then once you have the, uh, the Lightning Network implementation running on top of your hardware, on top of the Bitcoin full node, then you can start managing uh, your Lightning Network channels, your payment channels. And you can open them, you can close them, you can communicate with peers, and of course, you can send them. Uh, and with the routing algorithm. So much more on all this uh, in the future. But basically, your Lightning Network node is a software that runs on top of your Bitcoin full node and that helps you to communicate with all the other peers in the Lightning Network. And everyone who is in this Lightning Network, all those 5,800 peers at the moment, they can communicate with each other, which means they can send money lightning fast to each other. And that is beautiful. So when you want to be on the Lightning Network, you have to run your own Lightning node, okay? And uh, it is actually rather uh, simple now, especially with some cool stuff as the norm. Piers, thank you very much here again for joining me today on Bitcoin to the Max on the World Crypto Network. If you like the show, leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to support me personally, well, thank you very much. You can kindly do so on teleco.im slash Max, and you get even early access uh, to these cool shows. Piers, Thank you very much and see you on the next show. Bye-bye.